Let me show you members permissions in job form teams. This way you can assign the correct permission to the team that you are going to invite. So let's go check this out right now. Welcome to job form. My name is George and today I'm going to show you members permissions in job form teams. Now to designate the members permissions, there are several ways to get started. The first one is when you already have a team created, you'll have a little members number here. For example, in this case, there's two members. If I click on this section, we have the members permissions for this one, but there's also more settings. If we go to our team workspace, go here. We'll go into team settings on the bottom left and team members and we'll have the team members that we have invited we can change the permissions here also now let me split the screen okay in this case i have two accounts two open accounts on the right we have this account you can see the avatar is different and on the left we have a different account this is a team member that was invited so let's go into the main section here We'll click on the members. So now there are both team admin. And in this case, if I go to the members account that has been invited, he has access to everything. He can even eliminate the permission or change the permission from the main account that was created. So in this case, for example, if I click to mem on members, I can change the permission for the one who invited him because it's team admin. In this case, we have full settings. And if I want to edit one of these forms, I have all the settings available here. I can view, edit, I can even delete a form inside of the team members section for this workspace. And I have all the options available for this. So full access on team admin. Let's go ahead and change the permission. Let's change it to data collaborator. And a data collaborator can view and edit the forms inside of the workspace. So let me go ahead and refresh it. Okay, let's click on the members just to show you. Now he doesn't have the option to remove permissions because he's only a data collaborator. Okay. So in this case, I'll click on this form, for example, and we have less options. We can't delete the, the, the form. We can't edit the form. We can edit submissions, but we can't edit the actual form. So it's different settings available here. If I go into submissions, I'll be able to view them and I'll be able to edit them. For example, here is the phone number for this particular submission, and I'll change this five into a nine, for example, and I can edit. OK, so I can view and edit the forms. So let's go back. Let's change the permission. Let's change it to data viewer. Let's refresh it over here on the team member. OK, and again, we don't have access to remove team permissions. We're only a data viewer. Now let's click on the options here. We can view submissions again. But in this case, we can only view them. We are not allowed to modify. So again, let's go into the, the phone number section. Let's click on it. And I won't be able to change it because we're only a data viewer. Now, this could be useful in some cases where you only want the team member to only view the data, but not modify it, not delete it, or don't change permissions. This is a great option, data viewer. So let's go back. Okay, let's change the date the permission and now we're going to set creator which can view edit and can only view the data okay now it's a creator let's go ahead and refresh, refresh it over here there we go and let's view one of the forms i'll click on the options so in this case we can view edit settings rename but we can't view the submissions so it's a different type of settings depending the use cases. So in this case, it would be a, a great setting for someone who's going to develop the actual form, but it's not going to view submissions or data or analytics reports, etc. Just view and edit. It's a great option for the creator. So if I go into edit, for example, this form, I have the editor. I can open the ad form. I can modify it because that's the permissions that I have. And that is the members permissions settings on job form teams. Well, we thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come up. So that's a wrap for members permissions.